Hello, welcome to My Easy Statistics. This is the first video in the series of Smart PLS. Once we log in to the Smart PLS, we can notice there are four types of analysis. The first type of analysis which we can use is PLS SCM. Second one is a regression analysis. Third is process analysis. And the fourth one is CB SCM. First, we will discuss about this PLS SCM analysis. PLS SCM is a statistical technique used to analyze complex relationship between multiple variables in a research model. It is particularly useful when the relationship between the variables are not well defined or when the data has a smaller sample size. PLS SCM allow researcher to access both the measurement model and the structural model. PLS SCM is often used in expert research where the focus is on understanding and generating new insights. The second one is regression. This is the analysis which we are going to do in SPSS. In SPSS, whenever we want to do regression analysis, we'll go to analyze in the regression, we'll be doing linear regression. Here in the linear regression, we'll have only one dependent variable and we have more than one independent variables. So this regression analysis is a simple but powerful statistical method used to understand the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. It helps to predict how changes in the independent variable influences the dependent variable. The main goal of regression analysis is to find the best fitting linear equation that explains the relationship between the variables. And the third type of analysis which we can do in smart PLS is process. This is the process analysis which we do in SPSS, right? And the process analysis is a specific type of analysis used to examine the indirect effect and the conditional effects of one or more independent variables on the dependent variable. So we'll be using this process analysis to do this mediation, moderation, moderated mediation, mediated moderation. In the SPSS, we can discuss like analyze. In analyze, we have regression. In this, we have process. The same thing which we can do in this is smart PLS also. Process analysis helps researchers understand the underlying mechanism and conditions that influences the relationship between the variables. And the fourth type of analysis we, which we can do is CBSCM. CB stands for covariance based SCM. So this CBSCM is another type of structural equation modeling which is used when the data is assumed to be normal distributed and meets other specific assumptions. CBSCM is based on covariance matrix of the observed variables and focuses on estimating the strength and direction of relationship between the latent constructs. CBSCM is typically used when the researcher objectives are confirmatory and researcher have specific hypothesis to test based on existing theories. So we can use this CBSCM. This is similar to the analysis which we do in AMOS. In the AMOS, we will be doing this covariance based analysis. So this again we can do in smart PLS. So in smart PLS, we are able to do four type of analysis. PLS SCM we can do, regression analysis we can do, process analysis that is mediated moderation, moderation, mediation, all combinations we can do and even we can do this covariance based analysis also we can do. Before doing any analysis in smart PLS, the first important thing is we need to select a workspace. Workspace is nothing but a location where we are going to store all our works in that particular location. You can see here, I have selected a D drive. In D drive, I have created a folder called Smart PLS 4. Here, you can go here, choose workspace. In any drive, you can select 
I have selected D drive. In that D drive, I have created a folder called Smart PLS 4. In that folder, whatever files we upload, whatever the files which we create, models, everything is getting stored in that particular workspace. So this is the first thing. Second important is before doing the analysis, we must create a project. Project is nothing but sequential of activities. Whatever analysis which we do, this all analysis will come under one project. So we'll create a new project. Click this button called create new project. Now here you can give any name to this project. I'm giving it as PLS SCM training. Training. Just click create. Once you click create, you are going to get the project name. This is a project. Under this project, we are going to import a data files and we are going to create the model and we are going to do all the analysis. Now we will import the file into PLS. Now for importing, click on this button, import a data file. Now in this pop-up screen, we can select the file which we want to import. You can see we can import a different type of files like a .csv file or .txt file that's a text file. We can import IBM SPSS file, .sav file, and even we can import this Microsoft Excel files also we can import. Now I'm importing this customer satisfaction file. Double click on this. Once you select the customer satisfaction file, you can see here the name of the file is customer satisfaction. And the file which you are importing is a .sav csv file you can see dot csv file settings now total we have 201 cases in the file with nine indicators you can see this cs1 cs2 these two are related to customer satisfaction one customer satisfaction two perceived quality we have three variables and customer expectation we have four variables are there now the important point here is we have different type of measurement types are there here we can see metric, ordinal and categorical. Basing on our requirement, we can select metric, ordinal or categorical. Now, in this case, we are selecting all the nine indicators as a metric data. Minimum there is one, maximum is five. The important point here is missing data. If in case in your data, if you have any missing data, you enter a unique number and that unique number you enter in this column and click apply. When you do that one, system will identify that number as missing data and will ignore from the analysis. So in this file, we, we don't have any missing data and all the nine indicators are metric data. Now I'm clicking import. Once I click import, now you can see the files here. This is the files, indicators, nine indicators are the two customer satisfaction variables, three are perceived quality variables, four are customer expectation variables. So you can see the type of the data, it is all metric data. We don't have any missing data. And for each variable, it is showing the mean value, median, and all other descriptive values it is showing and you can see the correlation also if you click here you will get the correlation between the indicators and you want to see the raw data you can click here we'll see this is the data which we have taken from the dot csv files so till now we have discussed in this video different type of methods or analysis which we can do we can do plssem we can do process regression and CB, the covariance based analysis we can do. And we have discussed how to create a workspace and how to create a new project and how to import the variable, import the data also we have discussed. Now in the next video, we will see how to create a model and do the analysis. And even we'll interpret that analysis also in the next video.